the Ford scene made me cringe. I had to close my book and go take a turn about the room because I was pressed. Um, but it was particularly, if I can find the moment where um, when Elizabeth was the first one to walk up to her, because she said that they made eye contact and then Elizabeth looked away and she was like, oh my God, right? But then Elizabeth, because of the type, like Elizabeth didn't easily throw away their friendship that she didn't, she, she she wasn't rude to Harriet, so she didn't completely um, turn her nose up at Harriet. Let me just find the... Um, she said, Elizabeth Martin came up to me and asked me how I did and seemed ready to shake my hands if I would. I remember in the back of the book, shaking hands was like a, a whole a whole thing because you're making physical contact. Like it's it's something to be done um, between friends. And I feel like that was Elizabeth's way of saying, hey, you kind of broke our hearts, but like we're still friends. And then she even said, um, I remember she said she was sorry we never met up until now, which I thought almost too kind. I also thought that too, because like if, like I wouldn't really be friends with a guy who who rejected my sister's um offer to marry let's say like if my sister's actually proposed to a guy and then now i see this guy in the shop i'm gonna look at him like sir especially if we weren't friends but because in this situation <laughs> um elizabeth and harriet were friends i really admire elizabeth's niceness her kindness towards right. harriet and it's funny to me that it shook harriet up so much because it seems that she genuinely forgot about how good friends they were before so it shook her that Elizabeth would be so willing to um uh, to to make amends. Is that not the saddest part about it? Like they're actually really nice people. And I think what's also awful is Harriet's reaction to it. She's like, "Oh dear, I was so miserable. I sure I must have seen as been as white as my gown." And then again, like later on, she says, "Um, I was utterly miserable. Like absolutely miserable. Like I just think you would. I mean, you would be miserable in that situation. I would definitely brave the rain. I would not um endure that situation." <laughs> But, um, like, I just, like you said, the Martins are so kind in, I think, I think it's good that Harriet voices this to Emma because I think Emma needs these little pangs of, you actually, you know, basically ruined, not, I know they, they're still being nice to her, but basically you ruined my connections with a family who really loved me, took me in over the summer, yeah. their son was willing to marry me. I think Emma needs to know the sacrifices that Harriet makes to remain her friend. In Emma, although Emma really needs Harriet, Harriet sacrifices so much to make Emma happy. That is such a good point. I didn't think of that. It, 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 whoa! <laughs> this is why I love talking about books with someone who's read the book. Like, I, that's a perspective I never thought about. It's sad though, isn't it? Exactly. That's what I mean. Like, I think, yeah. And I, the, the thing is, what's kind of like, Emma's just like, I need to change the subject because I think deep down Emma feels bad about it. And she's always like, oh my gosh, I need to change the subject away from the Martins because I think it makes her feel guilty because she, one, she knows that obviously Mr. Knightley's already been on a case about it. But every time Harriet brings the Martins up, it's, she remembers actually that was my doing in many ways and i think she has to confront it like all the time and she's like oh harriet i can like bring you around what about you know frank churchill which harriet doesn't even like frank churchill anyway but the point is emma's like what about frank <laughs> churchill also i'm sorry a little bit sloppy seconds there because there was a point where emma was like do i have feelings with frank churchill i'm not sure but then she's like harriet what about frank churchill he's a nice guy i even thought he was for me <laughs> at one point like <laughs> Even even yeah. the westerns, the westerns also thought that like everyone thought that um um Mr. Churchill and her were gonna get together. And then she was like, yeah, maybe not. And she's maybe like, but Harriet, <laughs> super power for Harriet. Yeah, <laughs> that is the Mr. Elton thing. That we're <laughs> have. Oh, Churchill be even better. Like, oh gosh, like, wow, he's a better fish. She's like, like. Frank Church is a little bit more superior, but he thinks she's really pretty, so I think that's enough. Like, I think they'll, they'll get on. It's like, what? Emma, what? And then she flirts at the picnic. I'm sorry, this is this is the thing that actually really bothered me about it. Is she's going on about how mm -hmm. good of a fit she thinks Harriet and Frank Church would be, and then we're like literally like not ten minutes later, but we're like a, you know a day or two later, and she's actively flirting with Frank Church. Like she uses those terms herself. 
why would you flirt with someone mm-hmm. that you think is going to be with your friend? That's really dodge. Oh, that's a point that I didn't think of. That is a bit weird on Emma's behalf. You see, it's these moments where I feel so cringy because, like, I love Emma and I think she's really cool and I'm not on the debate side of, oh, bad, Emma, bad. But, like, it's these times where I'm just like, Emma, Mara, Emma, what the hell, man? What the god? Like, what? Why would you do something like that? That's not a very good friend move. And it's sad because, like, this time, I think she was doing it on purpose. She knew that she was flirting, right? But then there's, and she looks like a bad friend because of the consequences of her own actions, right? But then there's other times, like with the proposal, where she looked like a bad friend, but it really wasn't her fault because she didn't know that Mr. Alton liked her. And it, it, like, she, she looked like a bad friend, but it wasn't her fault. It was... It was the fault of no one, to be quite honest. Like I said, right? It was like more her like arrogance side. or like yeah. No, I know what you mean. Mm. It wasn't mm. like malicious. She so didn't like it's, maliciously it's, it's go out. She was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you like Mr. Elton just so I can rip him away." Like that wasn't what she <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So it's a bit weird to me when like it turns up times like this when she's genuinely being a bad friend and she needs to face the consequences of her actions, and then sometimes where it's really not her fault and. She looks like a bad friend, but she isn't actively trying to be. That That's tough. 